when I woke up this morning, I saw the the time on my digital clock uh, was 4.44. And um, I don't always pay attention to the numbers, although there have been times that, that I have. Uh, but this morning, I felt the Lord was calling my attention to uh, four, the numbers, uh, number four. Um, it's the fourth letter of the Hebrew alphabet. And the meaning of for is door, path, way, portal to heaven. So I, as I was with the Lord this morning, um, I didn't really know the, the, the meaning of for at that point. I did know it was door. Um, but I, I just sensed the presence of the Lord. Uh, you know, some mornings, uh, his presence, uh, as I know you'll testify, uh, is more um, manifest than at other times. So I really sensed the presence of the Lord. And then the refrain from the song, uh, Won't Stop Now, uh, came to me. And that refrain is, your presence is an open door. And I, I just started meditating on that and, and, and saying that, uh, Jesus, your presence is an open door. And of course, John 10, 7 tells us that Jesus is the door. Uh, and then the Lord took me uh, to the uh, a story in Genesis with Jacob and the ladder that was set upon the earth uh, and reached uh, to heaven. And this is in Genesis 28, verses 10 through 17. It says, A ladder was set on the earth, with its top reaching to heaven. And behold, the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. And then Jacob awoke and said, How awesome is this place! This is none other than the house of God. And this is the gate, or the door, of heaven. We know Revelation 3, 8, Jesus said, Behold, I have put before you an open door. And then in Revelation 4, 1, right after that, shortly after that, the, the word says, After these things I looked, and behold, a door standing open in heaven. So the Lord quickened to me that while we sometimes, and, and probably uh, most of the time, think of an open door as being a horizontal door here on the earth, a door, uh, an open door for ministry, an open door for uh, a job, an open door for an opportunity or favor, um, the Lord was calling my attention and would call your attention to the fact that first and foremost he is the open door and that the open door is from heaven to earth and earth to heaven that it actually is a ladder or a portal unobstructed through the second heaven where where the demonic realm operates right now uh, that that when Jesus himself stands before us and we are in him and he in us he is the door he is the portal he is the unobstructed ladder or access between heaven and earth between earth and heaven and the door is open to us the father said throughout the old testament uh, psalm 78 he commanded the clouds above and opened the doors of heaven. And he rained down manna from the, from upon them to eat and gave them food from heaven. Man did eat the bread of angels. And then Malachi 3.10, uh, this is in the context of, of giving. Um, but, but, but the Lord says, test me now in this. If I will not open for you, the windows of heaven and pour out for you a blessing until it overflows. Proverbs 10, tells us, it is the blessing of the Lord that makes rich and he adds no sorrow to it. 
So it's the blessing of the Lord. So the, the wealth transfer that many of us are, are waiting for comes first and foremost through the open door, through the windows of heaven. And Jesus is the only way to access that. So what, what is the Lord saying to us this day? Those of us who are waiting for the manifestation of his promises, that are waiting for finances, for health, for healing, uh, for family relationships, for jobs, for ministry, uh, for, for the gifts uh, of the Spirit, all those things that the Lord has promised. He would have us turn our eyes upon the Lord Jesus, who is the door. And then I found myself just by faith, by grace through faith, uh, just as, as we receive salvation, uh, according to Ephesians 2.8, um, which says it is by grace through faith that we are saved, not of ourselves and not as, a, as because of works. It is the free gift of God. That, that we should not boast. So just as we receive uh, uh, salvation from the Lord, uh, so too do we receive everything and anything. It's by grace through faith. So I found myself this morning just declaring, Father, you've put me before me an open door. I look I look through the eyes of Jesus, who is the door, I in him, him in me. Father, thank you that you've put before me an open door. The angels are ascending and descending uh, with your provision, with your answer. Uh, you've opened for me the windows of the storehouses of heaven. You've opened for me the windows of, of, of the storehouses that contain body parts. Uh, you've opened all the windows and the doors of heaven, and you've given me access through Jesus. So, Father, now by grace through faith, I receive all that you have for me uh, vertically. The open door is vertical, Lord, first and foremost. I receive it, Father. I look to you, the author and finisher of my faith. Every good and perfect gift comes from above from the open door in heaven above, from our Father of lights, in whom there is no shadow of turning. So the Lord would have you know this day that he indeed has put before you an open door. Just ask by faith, for it's in him, in Jesus, that you receive it all. Uh, that door is open. He's opened the windows. He's opened the doors of heaven to pour out for you a blessing that you cannot even contain, that you cannot even contain. So receive it now by faith in Jesus' name. Amen.